Hello, everyone. Uh, so in this video, I wanted to address one of the common questions we get from our customers around using Dataverse and SharePoint as your data source to power your a custom copilot. Uh, as you know, Dataverse is now one of the supported uh, data sources within Copilot Studio. But by default, when you add your Dataverse table, the authentication is set to authenticate with Microsoft. Uh, just to show you what I mean by, by that, uh, let me just open my Copilot here. So in this case, you can see I have a Copilot and I have one of my Dataverse table uh, that I'm using as data source. So in this case, once once I add the data words table, if you go to settings and check the authentication, uh, it's set to authenticate with Microsoft. So this configuration results in two things. One, uh, you cannot use SharePoint as your data source because uh, to enable SharePoint as data source, you would require um, uh, to you are required to authenticate manually uh, since you have to uh, set up the app registration process. Uh, and then the second thing is with this configuration, um, the number of channels that are available uh, to you for your copilot is also going to be limited. So you can see only Microsoft Teams is supported, everything else is grayed out. So this configuration limits um, where you can deploy your uh, custom copilot. So today I will show you how to set this up correctly so that you can use both Dataverse as well as SharePoint uh, within your custom copilot so that you can deploy it across different channels. So in order to do this, let me open a new copilot here. So in this case, you can see I have um, a SharePoint site and a Dataverse table. Uh, which I'm using as uh, as data sources for this custom copilot. So the first step uh, to set this up correctly is you need to complete the app registration process to set up the SharePoint uh, access correctly. So if you go to settings, uh, make sure you set the authentication to manual and then go through uh, the app registration process uh, to make sure you have that configured correctly. I'm not going to go into details on how to complete the app registration process uh, since we already have documentation for that. Uh, but just to show you, this is an example where, you know, I have created uh, an app registration and you need to give uh, permissions so that your copilot can access your SharePoint site uh, and also any files that are within uh, within the SharePoint library on that site. So once you have configured this, I would recommend um, testing this configuration to make sure you are seeing the expected results using SharePoint data. Um, if you have configured this correctly, your Copilot uh, bot should be able to uh, access files and data on your SharePoint site and respond to any questions uh, your end users asking. So once you have tested and verified that this is working correctly, in order to use data words, we have one more step that we need to perform on the app registration that you have created. So this is the app registration that I have. Um, you, you have to go to API permissions and then add one more API uh, to, your, uh, to your app registration in order to uh, allow your Copilot bot uh, to access Dataverse data. So if you click on APIs, um, just search for Dataverse and make sure you check uh, this checkbox here, and then you can click on add permissions. Uh, I'm not going to do that since I already have it here. Uh, once you add it here, um, you can also grant admin consent uh, for that permission. So once this is set up, you can go ahead and then add your data words table. So in my case, I already have it um, just to show you. This is the table I have. Uh, this table has list of um, hospital in different states. 
uh, so you can add uh, one or more tables uh, from your Dataverse instance. Uh, you can also add any synonyms. So in this case, you can see uh, the hospital name uh, is also called as um, healthcare center. Uh, so if you have any synonyms, you can add uh, against like specific column names, just so that your bot understands um, when users are using uh, different words, it can correlate and make that uh, connection. Uh, for any abbreviations that your organization uh, might be using, you can configure those as well. Uh, so in this case, you can see here uh, two examples. So HCL stands for healthcare location, HCC is healthcare center. Um, so these are all the abbreviations that are unique to uh, my organization that I can configure. Uh, and this will help your co-pilot bot uh, to understand uh, the questions that are being asked by your end users. Once you have done that, you can save and you can start testing. So in just to show you, I can uh, ask uh, how many hospitals do we have in NJ? And you can see it's able to respond using the data in uh, data words. Uh, same way I can ask, uh, is there any hospital near uh, zip code 07030? So you can see it's able to get that information. I can also uh, ask, uh, can you tell me the name and phone number for this hospital? And you can see it's keeping all this interaction uh, in memory. So it's aware of all the context uh, of this interaction. So you can see it's able to uh, understand all my questions and it's using data words data to provide me a response. Same way if I ask something like, uh, tell me about culture at Quintoso. Uh, so this information is uh, within my SharePoint site. So it should be able to get that information using the SharePoint data. So now you can see it's able to get that information from the SharePoint site. Um, so this way you can use uh, both DataWorks and SharePoint as a, as a um, data source on the same custom copilot. Also, if you go to channels, now you can see you have access to all the channels um, so that you can deploy these, these, uh, the copilot to any, uh, any channel uh, that you need. So this is, uh, the right way of uh, doing the configuration when you plan to use SharePoint as well as your data was stable uh, as data source for your uh, custom copilot. Thanks for watching.